before we start working with Firestore, in order to store our data, to make changes to it, and read from our database, we're going to take a look at another reusable widget that we'll need to make use of across our app, and that is a couple of loading widgets, or progress widgets. So when we're loading, we're in, we're in a state of loading in our app, and that's when we're usually fetching data, say fetching a given user, or fetching a post, or something like that. We want to display to the users that we're in such a loading state. And we're going to do that in a couple of ways. We're going to have a circular progress indicator, basically a circular spinner showing loading, as well as a linear progress bar. So that's just going to be a bar versus a circle. So in order to create these two widgets, we're going to head to our progress.dart file within our widgets folder. And you'll see here we have a couple of functions, circular progress being for our circular spinner, linear progress for our linear progress bar. And in both of these cases, we're going to create them, display these loading indicators within a container. So we'll set the return type of each of the functions to container. And for its child, for circular progress, this is going to be set to circular progress indicator to give us that circular spinner. And we can easily set the color of it with the argument value color. We can't directly set the color like this by saying, you know, colors.deep orange or whatever we wanted to use. Instead, we have to wrap that color in a class called always stopped animation. And to that, we can provide the color we want. And I'm personally going to use colors.purple. Note, you could pass in context to this function or in order to read from it, but I'm personally just going to hard code this value like so. Now note, since we're wrapping this circular progress in a container, we can format it a bit. And what I want to use this container for is to center, always center the spinner on the page. So to center it in both directions, horizontally and vertically, we can set alignment to alignment.center. And I also want to add some padding on the top. So I'll set padding to edge insets dot only to set padding in one direction. And that'll be set to top with a value of 10.0. And then for linear progress, this is also going to return a container. where once again, we can set padding, but this time I want to set padding on just the bottom. Oftentimes, we'll want to include linear progress just at the top of the page. So we want to separate what's underneath it with a little bit of padding to make sure it doesn't butt up against it. We want to set it only on the bottom. And the child in this case will be linear, the linear progress indicator versus circular and again, we can set value color with always stopped animation to whatever color value we choose. So let's test both of these out. And we'll do so on our timeline page. So we'll supply them as the body to its scaffold. So we'll import circular progress, the circular progress function first to see our circular progress indicator. So when we save timeline, we see our purple spinner directly within the middle of the page. And we're going to use this spinner a lot on pages such as our timeline. And then for our linear progress, when we supply that, we see it up at the very top. We generally want to use it underneath our header or app bar, and it's going to look exactly like this. Namely, this is going to be used when we upload a given post. We'll use that linear progress. Now that we've got these two functions that are going to display to our users a loading state across our app, we're ready to start working with data, bringing it into our application, and storing it with the help of Firestore.